Welcome back, I'm Country Fire for Channel It Resolves, and this deck list hurt my soul. It's Celestia and Chance. Alright guys, so as we hop into this, I'm just going to break down this deck list really quick. There's no mods in here, no, no changes that I made that's anything special. It's the regular standard boring Celestia and Chance, however I'm going to give you a reason why I played it. Alright, so up one on this one drop, we got the Commune with Spirits. You can cast it for one. You can look at the top four of your cards, grab a land or an enchantment, and put it in your hand after you reveal it. Our one drop uh, creatures, generous visitors. Every time you cast an enchant, you get to put a plus one, plus one on a target creature. And then, of course, Kami of Transence is a two drop where he gets a plus one, plus one for each enchantment that drops in, which kind of just synergizes with the entire deck other than Commune with Spirits. We got Jukai Naturalist that makes this just a turbo deck because when it comes into play, it's not a legendary creature, so you can get multiples on the field, although it doesn't really matter in this deck list, but it makes your enchantments cost one colorless less on their mana cost. And of course, it's got lifelink, and it could go out of control really fast because what I tend to do is put all the plus one, plus one counters from the Generous Visitor over onto the Naturalist, and then the lifelink just keeps us in the game. We got card draw with Rune of Might and Spirited Champion. The only thing that's rotating out of this deck list is going to be Rune of Might. So, depending on what comes out with uh, Dominaria United, uh, this is the only card that we're losing from this deck list. But this is our card draw. So, we got the Spirited Companion. So, 1 1 comes in, it draws a card for us. And then, of course, Rune of Might, attach it to a creature. Or you can attach it to anything, really, if you absolutely have to. And you get the card draw off of it. And if you attach it to a creature, it gives that creature an extra plus one, plus one, and it gains trample. It's really nice to use on the Jukai Naturalist or whatever other creature you've built up besides the Kami of Transients. But you don't need to use it on Kami because Kami already has trample. Then we've got some modifier effects here. We got Machiko's Reign of Truth. It gives the plus one, plus one counters equal to the number of artifacts or enchantments you control to any target creature. And it does that on a second level as well. And then you exile it. It comes back in with plus one, plus one counters for each artifact or creature you control, which is pretty much your entire deck other than the first three cards in this lineup right here. And then we've got Weaver of Harmony, which once you get this in, not on its first enter the battlefield because it's got summoning sickness and its tap ability, but of course it's second uh, on its second go around. If you bring something in, you can copy the uh, activated trigger effect of an enchantment source. So like you can draw an extra card, draw an extra card, you can exile extra things depending on what it is. You can give double triggers to Machikos if you want. Uh, Weaver of Harmony also gives all your enchantments, uh, enchantment creatures plus one plus one as well. So really great card for this deck, synergizes really well. And then of course our exile effects with the uh, Circle of Confinement and the Touch of the Spirit Realm. And then there's our land base, guys, and that's it. I'm going to let you guys jump into this. Stick around to the end. I'll give you my stats on this deck list and why I played it and why I think it matches up really well with the meta right now, especially if you don't really want to spend a lot of time playing, but you still want to do a little bit of ladder grind and get out your dailies and stuff like that. Works really well. But I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I hope you guys stick around to the end. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Free ways to help out here at Channel It Resolves. Guys, have a brilliant day. Stay safe. Be happy and healthy. Peace. All right, so we go first. Uh, three lands in, some removal, something to build off of. Yeah, we'll keep. If they've got burn, then play with fire comes out right now. That's fine. take the quick shots as soon as we can get them the cool thing is we have all the exile <laughs> so let's go sure we'll use it The generous visitor. So here, um, yep. I mean, unless they got fading hope.
They got something that's sticky, so I'm guessing fading hope. Either that or consider. Let me turn down the music here too. Force him to use it. So they're showing Bant right now. What well, went? Brokers? Okay. So they're running brokers. That's fine. We have eight on board, nine, possibly 10, 12. Oh, we're just gonna pump out of our minds right now. Sure. Now we don't even have to use this. Uh, that sucks. Hit the wrong button. Wait, did I? I don't know. Either way, we had it. <laughs> so wrong button or not. So less than a chance, man. Don't play like me. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> Check out this month's Patreon rewards celebrating our return to Dominaria. If you want to pick these up, feel free to visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. Uh, yeah, that's just what I want. Both Field of Ruins right at the beginning. Thanks, Shuffler. Ah, man, I kept. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Sitting here complaining, I hit the wrong button. Awesome. All right, let's get it out on white just because that's what we're going to need right off the bat. This gives us a chance to draw a green. We really need to get to green too, but we could do things with white. That's one of the things. Of course. Yeah. Why not? Good one. No gain out of this. No gain. Lord. All we needed was one green and this thing could have went so much faster. Ugh. All right, let's go get green. We're gonna get to start drawing a lot of stuff, man. We gotta get a hold of this. Try and get a green.
Nah, we'll hold. We'll hold. We can at least stop them from uh, pulling cards. Unless they've got fight spells. Or ways to exile stuff themselves. Haven't seen any of it yet. Alright. So I guess Kami's dying. That's what we need. This stalls him out. But if they end up with something big, we're toast. Or if they got a way to make them, yeah, safekeeping. That's fine. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start putting some pressure on him. to attack now you've done it that's good. that's good show them how we greet our it is good Let's just go one Don't want to have it exiled. So they're in top deck mode. We'll block up with the uh, Spirited Companion. As Steve Rogers would say, we could do this all day. <laughs> all right, GG's. <laughs> uh, my opponent goes first. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, don't know what my line of play is going to be, but I never do. Even when I do, I don't. Let's see what kind of removal they got. If they got Infernal Grasp, or if they're going to go Deadly Dispute with their Eye Twitch. I don't know. Mono black's good, man. I don't know if it's going to be mono black or Orzov or what, but they got the snow lands, so we need to push fast. Yeah, so they're Orzov right now. Yeah, we're going to have to push fast because uh, it's going to get nasty. Make them spin it up. I would imagine Vanishing Verse is a thing. Are we just... Oh, okay, so we're Mardu. Right on. Mardu's good. I'd like one more land. Uh, not really. Cons there we go.
Okay. Yep. They're trying to get to it fast. They've got to have... They're probably hoping meat hook. Yeah. It's just not going to move fast enough. Nice. All right. GG's. Uh, sure. We'll keep. I mean, at least it's not Boros. Watch it be... Crazy ass Jun shit, man. You must die. Give me a land off the top so I can go into this. Help them miss something. Oh my God, they didn't discard anything. They love everything. So they're gonna go into gold span maybe? Don't near. Give me something magnificent. Pretty good. Did they go into it? Did they got me hooking this damn thing too, bro? I don't need this kind of stress, man. Fair. It's fair. I don't know what's not fair. This shit. It's just not fair, bro. It, it really is not fair. I probably should have went into this, but I'm being cute. I want to draw more cards. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, bring that Azusa's back. Nice. Don't have me hook. Seriously, it'd be so irritating. They've got me hook and they're trying to decide whether they want to meet hook their own creature. It's awesome. They don't want to meet hook their own creature. That's even more awesome. <laughs> They don't have anything to stop this. Hmm. Look at all the power. <laughs> all the power. GG's. Mmm, pro. I have no idea what that means. Well, let's get their play with fire out of their hand. Oh, no play with fire. Holy cow, what's going on? Sweet. I like that card. I like that card. I like your style. Not running blood on the snow. They are Rakdos. I would prefer a land. Really want to land. Want to land, want to land, want to land. Right now. Land. Sweet. Nice. Sure, we need more green. Oh, 
My Raiju is thundering. That sucks, man. That sucks a lot. Nope. We gotta find something to take it off the board. Oh, no. That does not do it. This sucks all the butt in the world right now. Sure. Is nice. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, just have another one. Fuck, why not? Hell yeah. Come on for it, bro. No? coming it's a good one It's gonna be the biggest gold span dragon ever coming out now. Oh no, because I don't have plane anymore. That's fine though. What do you do? Things. You can do some things. I don't know, man. We may have out we may have outpaced him on the board. Wow. Shh. I was kind of sweating it there. I mean, yeah, go ahead and get your four in. Oh, Lord. Are you playing with some nasty meat hook? Okay. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to go all in here. It's fine. Kill yourself. I mean, go out on your own sword there, Samurai. I agree. Screw everybody else. <laughs> We're crashing this plane, bitches. <laughs> GG's, man. GG's. That was good. All right, guys. So if you made it this far, first and foremost, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Like I said, I promised I will give you my stats on this deck list and this is why I played it. So why I played it. So I haven't touched the ladder in a long time. And I really, I went down to bronze this season. That's how long I've stayed off the ladder. I play mostly on stream and, uh, you know, against the uh, chat that's on there on the live stream because uh, they'll bring decks that aren't meta and that's what I prefer to play. It's just kind of like a tabletop environment. But this time around, man, I hit that bronze. Uh, I haven't hit Mythic in forever just because I don't like doing the grind, but I was like, well, let me grind some of this out. Let me get the mastery pass going. Let me get it knocked out too. Uh, I think last season I didn't even hit the mastery pass completely 
completions. So it was just kind of wasted money. But this deck list allows you to go in and just play a bunch of games really fast and it works really good against aggro decks like boros and stuff like that mono green even mono black because you can usually outpace it before they can get the meat hook big enough or get the blood on the snow and uh, usually knock them out even before then that's how fast this deck list is um, it still does have problems with boros and boros gets all the right answers which it seems to all the time because boros is just one of those decks where every new draw is a better draw than the last draw kind of like a mono white as well every new creature as the mana goes up is a better creature but this with the lifelink and the exile effects of the circle of confinement and the touch spirit realm really help out against those matchups and you can usually go wider and overpower with your trample effects from the rune of the might and the kami of transients and plus the ability of kami to come back from the graveyard when you lose an enchantment just renews your creature uh state on the board so it really helps out and that's why i played it i just wanted to play a lot of games fast make rank really fast and knock out some stuff and plus i prefer if i'm going to play meta which really hurts my soul and i absolutely hate i want a lot of interactions so it was like this or rakdos anvil and while i can play rakdos anvil i'm just not familiar or comfortable enough with it uh to want to stick with it and this one just i mean it literally almost plays itself but it's got a bunch of interactions going on, especially with Weaver of Harmony in there and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I played it. That's it. That's it. I know it's meta. I hate it. I hate it, but I wanted to do it really fast. And it's a lot of fun. It's just basically I'm going to slap a bunch of cards down. There's nothing you can do about it. But here's the stats, guys. Let me hop into this. Switch the screen over for you. So as you can see, here we are again, the 68%, 15-7, and then overall, we've got 35 matches as 63% win rate, 67% win rate on the play, and 59% win rate on the draw. And then our overall play time is 2 hours and 22 minutes. That's it. 35 games in 2 hours and 22 minutes. That's a lot of games in a really short amount of time with this deck list. So if you're wanting kind of a turbo deck list to take out and just run through the ladder, I think this is probably the best one on the ladder to do it with. You can do it with Boros, but I think Boros has a bigger loss percentage. And especially since Boros is kind of the king or queen of meta right now um i believe that this deck matches up really well with it especially with the life gain and the exile effects again of circle of confinement and touch the spirit realm so we're gonna go ahead and switch back we're gonna close out all right guys again thank you so much for your guys support sticking with the channel i truly uh appreciate it i know kevin does as well and we know it's summertime and it's dry and we know this is a meta deck and everybody's already played it however if you're just wanting to turbo out those last games or that last little ladder grind to just crunch it and see what you can do. I think this is a deck for you, especially going up against the Bor uh, Boros um, main meta on the ladder. Um, again, it's got the exile effects. It's got card draw. It's got life gain. So there's a bunch going on here. It's very versatile. It's very fast. They have to have the right cards all the time. You can usually find the right cards really fast. So uh, it's a good matchup. I liked it. So out of the meta decks right now, playing in standard, this is probably my favorite one to play. If I don't absolutely want to scorch my brain with thought, which if you've ever seen the live streams, I don't do often. I misplay by the minute, and this deck lets you misplay play and get right back in the game so if that sounds like something for you give it a shot man it's a lot of fun a lot of interactions even if it's a little bit boring as far as the meta goes but a lot of interactions and a lot of fun and it goes super fast so with that guys i'm country fry for channel it resolves as always stay safe be happy and healthy peace much love you guys have a great one